What's going on, y'all? Hope y'all doing all right today. I just got back from uh, the new kiosk I opened over in the Perimeter Mall here in Atlanta, Georgia. You know, where I'm selling my books and clothing and all that good stuff. So if you're in the area, feel free to stop by. Oh, my sweatshirt, I couldn't have that. It's a little bit too uh, risque for the mall, but I got some other cool shit over there y'all love. Anywho, that ain't what I came to talk about, man. It's giving me a chance to meet a lot of y'all, connect with y'all, and, you know, hear some of y'all stories in person. You know what I mean? I'm not always able to hear or at least read these messages that y'all send, although I do try my best. But, you know, talking to some of y'all is interesting. One common thing I've heard is that, you know, Derek, uh, uh, my guy or ex of mine, he hated whenever I listened to your videos. He hated to when I, li when I listened to your videos, but it turned out that he really wasn't for me like I thought he was. Like one girl, one of my listeners, man, she approached me yesterday and said she was dealing with a dude. And every time he heard my voice through her phone, he'd be like, oh, here you go listening to him again. All he do is man bash. But he also treated her like shit and he dipped out on as soon as he got a record deal, right? So, I mean, I kind of could figure that. If a dude don't like what I'm saying, most times I understand what side of the tracks he's on. But what's interesting to me is this whole term of man bashing. You know what I mean? That we've given to uh, man accountability or fuckboy bashing. Because that's what I do, essentially. I don't man bash. The only way you can man bash is to bash man behavior. The shit that I talk down about is about fuckboy behavior. You know what I mean? Which is basically little boy behavior in a grown man's body. Because it's some shit you can do whenever you little. You can't do as a grown man. You know what I'm saying? Whenever you little, you can chill up at the crib. You know, when you're nine years old, 10 years old, you can chill up at the crib all day, holler at your homeboys, play basketball, play the video game, eat up all the snacks, you know, lounge around on the couch, wait for your mama to get home and cook and tell you to do your homework or whatever it is. That's cool because you're a little boy. There's, no, there's, there's nothing wrong with that behavior as a kid. But when you're a grown-ass 30-year-old, 40-year-old, or 25-year-old man, it's time for you to get on your grown man shit. It's time for you to be about your grown man business. There's no reason a woman should be carrying your load every day while you sitting there giving her excuses about, oh, one day I will, or, you know, I'm chasing a dream right now. And no matter what you're chasing right now, you need to handle reality. You feel what I'm saying? And I'm not talking about covering all the bills. I know some people push that and say, oh, a woman shouldn't have to touch the bills and whatever. Yeah, that's a goal. But the biggest thing is, as a grown man, you should be contributing to the household's needs. There's no reason your woman should go out every day, bust her ass, deal with a, a shitty boss, you know what I'm saying? Deal with messy ass, gossiping ass co-workers, biting her tongue, not snapping on them because she need that job. Come home exhausted just to see you on the couch chilling, playing a video game, smoking weed, or been out in the streets all day, burning up the gas, you know what I mean? squandering the money y'all do have there's no reason for that you a grown-ass man see that's when it becomes fuckboy behavior or at least in a lot of y'all whether you working or not y'all don't understand the value in making sure that when a woman does come home that she's in complete comfort or that she knows that she's back with her helpmate you feel what i'm saying y'all y'all think it's too much to rub a woman's feet or a little 15 20 minute little shoulder massage or to stop what you're doing while she's cooking and go in and see if you can hand her anything out of the cabinets. Or if you can wash the dishes behind her. Or if you could tighten up the trash real quick. That ain't, that ain't unrealistic. That ain't talking about perfection. You dig what I'm saying? That's just being about your grown man business. I know I ain't talking to uh, the grown men right now because I hear a lot of y'all. A lot of y'all send me messages or stop me when y'all see me and tell me, you know, thank you for giving us a voice. I'm talking to the rest of y'all, man. That think this is man bashing. If you feel slighted. By saying, you know, as a grown man, you should be able to communicate how you feel. If you could talk about everything else, you could freestyle, lie, be all creative when it's time to get in somebody's draws. Then you should be able to communicate how you feel. Then you know what side of the tracks you on. You know what I mean? You on the side of the fuck boys, And that ain't me being on some pompous bullshit. That's me calling the spades a spade. Because when you little, you can throw that tantrum. You get pissed off. You can stop talking. You can, hmm, you know, fold your arms and, and decide not to talk or be on some silent treatment shit and pull away. That's what we do whenever we seven, eight, nine years old. You know, we pull away. We don't want to talk to nobody. He ain't talking right now. He quiet for a couple hours because he mad. He got a whooping or something like that. But when you a grown man, you don't leave your woman emotionally stranded wondering if she's the problem. 
you talk through things like a fucking adult. Even if you don't do it right then and right there, because I understand sometimes you need to let the emotions cool down so they don't overtake and dominate the conversation. You want to be productive. That's cool. That's actually preferred. But if you're a grown man, then you need to open up your mouth and speak. You want a woman to be on her grown woman shit, but she putting too much energy into reminding you to be on your grown man shit. That don't make no sense, man. Tighten up.